shit <clears throat> sorry and a bunch of nukes my god what up sailor no it's poppy playtime tonight back to back to back now that chapter three dropped i am uh we played the first one. We're going from the beginning, just for the, the partly for the uh, sake of the lore. And uh, partly because that's what I told Atlas I would do. He's excited for this. I don't, he's not even watching, but he's excited that I'm just doing it. I'm also fascinated by this franchise. Five Nights at Freddy's fan animators turned game devs. And I'm really curious about the third one because the second one I was kind of mad on. Anyway, we played the first one on stream. I've played the second one uh, with Atlas, but we're just going to make this shit official today. I want to see what chapter three is all about. It's sounding like it's getting more and more uh, meat on its bones. I haven't seen anything of it. Holy shit. The Friday crew. I love it. <laughs> what up, Baron? And Jack? Yeah, we can we can drop Sark pals for Carl Weathers. So in the Sark pals, somebody said it was like a a gnome, a garden gnome with a getting jerked off. I I get Arnold's sleeve is the hat. Is, is Carl Weathers jerking off the Garden Gnome's huge? Yeah, his muscles, the face. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't fully see it. I see the gnome, but I don't see... I don't see the rest of it. I see the gnome. I don't see wieners. It doesn't look like a black dude jerking off a hung Garden Gnome to me. Maybe like a gnome watching an arm wrestling tournament? 
I had no idea Carl Weathers died until right now. Aardvark, I, uh, I don't know when the news broke, but uh, I only saw it this afternoon. So, Watch, Carl Weathers has been dead since like 2017, and I'm just seeing it. No, I'm pretty sure it's new. <clears throat> the gnome has a massive hand, and he's jerking off a black dick. Okay, hold on. No, <laughs> come on. <clears throat> That's such a reach. But, okay, but at least I can see how you're getting there. Okay, all right. Gnome with a freak arm is jerking off a big black dog. Okay, all right. I, I, That's never going to be, and I can't uh, see it for me, but I get it. <laughs> What up, Flancy? Saffy Otter. <clears throat> Kokomo, where? I'm on, what is it? Ripped gnome jerking off black dudes dot RU. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised at what I'm seeing. <laughs> Saffy, how dare you? <clears throat> um, hold on, let's get things going. It's another Silent Hill day outside for me. Super foggy. I can't see like across the street almost it's, i fucking love this pacific northwest weather in the south dude sign me up what up tinkle one downside is yes my allergies are still like if i go outside i come in i'm wrecked for like 45 minutes minimum fleeting i saw you were streaming like demon souls or some shit dark dark souls one of those. <clears throat> you might still be actually knowing your uh, multitasking abilities. DS3, I'm up to 950 deaths. Does it rain in Texas at this time of the year? I, I think I think it Tex rain's sort of on the menu for whenever here. It doesn't like rain a ton, but it could happen whenever. It's not like uh, like the Southwest, where rain is a rare occurrence. <clears throat> whenever it does rain, it's nonstop. Yeah, we get like big. We get those big Midwest thunderstorms. Also, I love that shit. I've heard thunder twice today. Nothing too gnarly, though, so we'll see. Vegas is dry as shit. Yep, but it rained earlier. Dude, I remember at the beginning of disc golf season, either th l this last year or the year before, it was there was snow on the ground when they were kicking things off in Vegas. And uh, no one had prepared for it. No one had warm clothes. <clears throat> what up, pigeons? Thunderstorms are a conflict for me. I love to watch them, but they put me right to sleep. Oh my God, Ralph! Hold on, we gotta get caught up, and then we're hopping in. Their fingerless gloves. What up, Firmter?
Oh, God. You guys are seeing wieners in the candy corn? Go to your grocery store and shout that at the candy corn display. Complain to the manager that there's about the wieners in the candy corn. Excitedly. Oh, did we have another scam train? Oh, shit. What up, no pause? I saw Faith. I don't know if Faith is in here. I saw her new uh, serpentine brain tattoo. Pretty sure sh she sent it to me on Twitter, but pretty sure it's in the Discord. Turned out good. If it didn't turn out good, I wouldn't say it was shit, but I probably just wouldn't mention it. But it actually turned out pretty money. Commenting on tattoos is like commenting on uh, other people's kids' cuteness. It's funny how people who don't get snow don't understand snow. That's true. And also totally understandable. Maddie, we've been we've been throwing up the uh, Sark pals for the uh, for Carl Weathers. We'll continue doing it. Periodically. Um We got question nothing in here. What up, dude? Or not, dude. How the hell are you? Half of the Sp Spelunky 2 development team. Uh, we'll, we're definitely going to be revisiting that shit. That was fun. What up, Woodhouse? Dude is gender gender neutral. Yeah, sometimes. I think not dude is funny though, so I continue to say it. The mascot merch horror for real, Myrtle. I <clears throat> uh, I was just saying I'm fascinated by this the this entire thing. The 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 backstory of. Poppy Playtime. It was very interesting to me. Holy shit. Pervert coming in here? Pervert! 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 How are you? We got Fleeting hooking up the uh, the gold kappa here with some bits. Malapuff, Cytocore, Claire. Fellow bald man try to make it big in the real world. That sounds like plastic. That sounds like you feel like your baldness is preventing you from making it big. What up, Shin? So I'll start with that. Doesn't matter. Unless, unless you're like midway into like a shampoo ad model career. In which case, my advice is you may want to pivot. Pivot! Pivot! Your Garnier Fructis days are over. Um, BTF. Hooking up Zerk. ENG. Coming in here with the raid. Jim Pickens, Asari, Danish dude, Billiam. Thanks for the gift, ENG. Hope shit's good. Hope your stream was good. My beautiful peak. 
I, I can't. It, this can't be taught. Also, it's barely a widow's peak. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know what you would call this shit. Cow ears. It's inverse cow ears. It's like a, a widow's shovel. <laughs> a widow's plateau. That's better. <laughs> <clears throat> Kokomo, thanks for the bits. Leechcraft. 28 months. Bacon. Zobuma. No pause. Brown, 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 brown. Pisky, 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 pisky. And of course, hot shot. The early bird hot shot. Prill, thank you. Whiskey. As well. It's what Bill Murray would look like if he was a porcupine. I mean, we're getting even more out there, but we're not straying from the truth, which I love, Barricade. There's faith! Happy Friday, 45 minutes away from getting plastered, and about 72 hours from having been inked. That was fucking money. I was just telling chat I wouldn't say anything if I thought it sucked. What up, Aqua? With first chat coming in from the almost impossible to read, mostly consonants in the handle, Followed by the first time chat is the phonetic pronunciation. God damn it. That's fucking amazing. Get in here. Did I get a tat? No, but I suggested a tat or, or, or a suggestion was requested and then executed by Last of Faith in chat. It turned out good. Artist was uh, not fucking around. Toxoplasmosis with the bits. The Golden Kappa. We got Bacon Cookies, Dougie, Andrew. More from Bacon. More from Prill. We got Ozzy, Adi, Whiskey, and Asari. Sorry, thank you. You beast, you beast, you beast. Whiskey with the, the RIP Dylan. Some damn fool accused you of being the best. It's the best. Beta. Kyrock. I've probably said that. 18 months in, I've probably said that differently 18 times. Has Atlas played these? He is playing chapter three uh, presently. Yeah. Gurr with the $5. Hope you're doing well. Glad to see your streams more often these days. Nice. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> I'm a bird, Aqua Aqua. <laughs> what up, schizo? <clears throat> Machinima inbox in here. Hold on. Get him in here. Um, ENG. Okay. ENG, this is a long one. It's you, I'm gonna read it, but. <clears throat> Been playing Death Stranding. I just saw the uh, the sequel. I haven't played it, I haven't played it yet. I want to. All right, ENG, the godfather of the dad joke. 
the chat dad joke. I'll re I always will read his. Uh, almost. After seven years of training in the medical field and really hard work, a good friend of E&G's was fired after one minor indiscretion. He slept with one of his clients and has been blacklisted from the profession. It's a big setup. What a waste of time, effort, training, and money. A genuinely nice guy and a truly brilliant mortician. Okay. I mean, talk about ENG. What the? Just a wet fart. Fuck. Sorry, right, don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down, Sark. Don't don't let ENG ruin the mood. What up, Sark cucked me? We're playing some poppy playtime. More than some. All. We're playing all poppy playtime. From Nate with the resub. Rip Dylan. Data drainer in here. With the data raid. Firmter is not missing the. Oh, getting in on the scam train. Firmter, congratulations. Hope you got your golden kappa. For 24 hours. But, but, but no more squad stream for you. Nine cent prime subs for you Turkish folk. Hey, but here's a golden kappa for 24 hours. Oh, shit. Daniel with the gift, Jack's facts. Rip Dylan, Jack. Otter. We got Zangred. Zangred. Uh, Hobo getting gifted from Hugh Jazz. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit. Chat's freaking out right now. Bond? I don't even know. What is Drunk Quest? Sounds awesome. Four ads show six. Yeah, let's let's end that for you. Actually, I say I say that, but subs have been getting ads anyway. So who the fuck knows? Woodhouse hotshot, Fox cloud, Fox cloud. Got it, got it, got it. Crusty bum crack. Um, hypnons, hypnos, lim crusty. Let me see. See if I have it. Hypnospace Outlaw, I have. Um, oh, I remember this. No, I've never played it, but I have it. I bet I have that marked as a 420 game. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in my Steam group fever dream. I'll get to it, though. A uh, reanimator. Heck yeah. Prill with some more. Zyrel, Big Hat, Greg. We're about to hop into poppies here. Ralph is potato. Pigeons. Frito. Ralph with the bit bomb. At least one. Morbid. Listening to my audiobook on the way home the other day, the guy pronounced the plural of proboscis as probusi, and I had to take a moment. Is that shit fucking real? I'm not going to look it up right now. I'm just going to take it as fact. Morbid, that's awesome. Phoenix, we have gifting. We got Saren Alter. GMath, listed price. Princess Zalanth, playing some Baldur's Gate. Strapped Wolf, 
paces. Velocity, the Sarge. I will sound like a whiny fucker. When's the next time we're seeing videos on the YouTube? I like to watch you, but you kill my sleep schedule. I've got great news for you. New vid on Saturday. <laughs> this time I'm serious though, Woda. And it's a banger. I appreciate the sentiment though. I hear you. Husband and I have been watching Lethal Company ones on YouTube and dying. <laughs> what up, Saint? Hissing shit through Poppy Playtime. Yeah. I mean, I played chapter I played chapter 1 and 2, streamed chapter 1. I thought it was uh, it was all right. I thought the the duct chase in particular in chapter 1 was pretty effective. Um, I'll get to my thoughts on chapter two when we get there. I felt like maybe it was not a step in the right direction, but we'll see. We're going back to back, so we'll get a good, we'll get a good sense of comparison here. Um, row your boat, deep house salad, Kokomo. Is Chrissy coming in? Will Atlas join you for this stream? No, Atlas is off playing. Who God knows what? Probably Geodash, honestly. Last of Faith with the bits. We had Woda, Woda! 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 with the nuke. New vid on Saturday, Woda. Swear to God. Left hand to God. Does Atlas know these? Oh, he knows, Harry. Oh, he knows. He hates it. He knows my opinions on Pokemon as an IP. How Minecraft's been treated by Microsoft. Oh, uh, he knows. <laughs> Woda! Woda! Oh my god. Woda clearly psyched about the new vid coming out on Saturday. Saturday. Thank you. <laughs> Get another 10 for that vid. Brinkerbell, thanks for the resub. Ezra, is it day or night? I can't even tell anymore. Patient Lamp, Merc, Aqua, of course, Bacon, Aberudi, Katie, 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 of the crazy variety. Thank you. We got Shin in here sniping the legend Shin. We're almost caught up, then we ride. It sounds like generally the privates are doing pretty well. That's good. If you're not, hang in there. We've got Machinima Inbox popping in. Chili Bowl King gifted by Prill. Rude Boy, Q Jazz, Sky Collective. Meeson is in here, maybe Meeson. Chrissy and Woda with the bombs. Okay, here we go. One of these Saturdays, Sark will actually stream, but no one will believe it. Wait, do you mean upload? Or stream? Actually, no one will believe that either. <clears throat> what a bird brain. My entire weekend will be ruined if there's no video on Saturday. You're in good hands. Holy shit. Buckle up for an incredible time. Let's kill the music. And let's play some games. In fact, let's let's get atmospheric. What up, Marco? Cleric? <laughs> Woda, you're gonna, dude, you're gonna love it. Cleric, thanks for the resub. Unknown streamer in here. All right, let's fucking go. <clears throat> I'm going to take it from the top.
uh, the Nerd Poker Days Mad Coil. <clears throat> um, it's been a while since I since I. I mean, actually, last time I had anything to do with D and D, I was actually playing, and you could probably count the times I've played D and D. Um, on maybe two hands, I would say in the last. Let's see. I started. I I've basically been DMing for since 94 but last time I did D&D it was as a guest player on um on an episode of Nerd Poker that I don't know it it might have been a uh what is it a Patreon app I don't know I I That that episode's fucking funny, too. It's a good one. But it's been a minute. I sometimes dabble with the idea of, like, starting up another campaign, but... That's a production and a half. The penis maps. I feel like my monitor is melting me. There we go. Jayhan's last stream before shipping out. I won't be back for potentially a very long time. If my security clearance is approved, I'll let you guys know who really killed Harambe. Jayhan's, thank you. Honored to have you popping in here for one last hurrah before you before you find go and discover the truth. Keep us posted. You've seen we've got multiple like military military types popping in. Deep house, yes. I mean, we've got... We've got naval operators that only pop into the chat when they're on terra firma. This is a good send-off track, yeah. Champion, Big B, DeVille, and what do we got? Car Park in here? Arc Light Car Park. Uh, they're going to bed. I'll read it. <sighs> Top floor was working six stories underground since yesterday afternoon. It was supposed to be a 16-hour shift. Saw you go live. Oh, it's not a dad joke. Saw you go live when I found out I worked 19 hours. Thanks for going live. I'm going to bed. Okay. Jeez. Fucking ban him. Who cares? Get out of here. Just for just for even f smelling like it. I'm just kidding. Have a good night. Sing bat, thanks for the reset. And the uh, fuck. Dear three, three, three. All right, here we go. Poppy playtime. I'm gonna just start at the beginning. I think I've got the settings all tweaked. Um, I'm gonna try not to read any of the extended shit, because at this point, keep in mind, Mob Games, the creators of this, used to make. They, they're coming out of YouTubing, doing, uh, like, rendered Five Nights, like, f fanfic vids. So they've cultivated this atmosphere similar to, like, what Five Nights has, where what you see, if you just play the games, at this point, you're getting 120th of all the shit that is out there about this. So we're just doing the games, and we'll see what we can glean, okay? I've locked my door because I don't want Atlas running in here and being like, there, There's a document in the filing cabinet of level three, Dad, that clearly says that Poppy is inhabited by the spirits of a kindergarten class that field-tripped here. 
and if the fact that you didn't see that is really ruining the fucking narrative of the story and my personal immersion. <laughs> So we're just gonna... You know, we're just gonna, like, s experience what is given to us, and then I will judge the ever-living shit out of it based on uh, how well it's presented. Vomit, thanks for the... Vomit, 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 vomit. Clementine, thanks for all the fish. Here we go, let's do it. You know what? I'm taking a piss. Fuck it. I'm going to the... Fuck. Be right back. White Bat, play us out. I'm going to be sitting here for fucking 17 goddamn hours playing this goddamn Muppet shit. Fuck. Atlas is a so, I'm a bad man.
By the way, going to the bathroom just reminded me we talked about Saint, if you're in here. We talked about what black light will reveal. Nut, jizz, poo, whatever. I shined a, a sh not just now, but I sh shined a black light, shone, shined, whatever, on, on a piece of shit. It didn't glow. And now I'm wondering, do I need to fix my diet or something to make my poo glow? I was so bummed. <laughs> Too much lead. <laughs> Gallows. <clears throat> I mean, I wanted that to just... Cherenkov radiation. I wanted it to look, the toilet to look like the roof of Chernobyl. Anyway, all right, here we go. I have cancer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Chapter one. Oh. A tight squeeze. Merch settings quit. There's no other lore here, right? Okay. All right. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Maine, thank you. Mormon bedwetter. And Agent Nomak. Chernobyls. Ex-employee playtime, we're headed back. That's right. We got like uh, we got a, a cryptic message in the mail or something. Now I'm now I'm okay. Whatever. Maybe that. Maybe Atlas just told me that. Let's find out. Oh, here we go. Lore. We've got lore. You are about to see. The most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. Mm. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Poppy, why doesn't my Hard shit glow in black light? Just watch. I want to beta test this. Poppy! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! If you boil her, she'll turn into heroin. All of the nation's favorite just like a real were created. Pop. Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... I would do it. Three bucks? Oh, there it is. Okay. Vintage Poppy commercial. We got a VHS. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay. So this is what prompts our return to the abandoned factory. So far, um, it's pretty effective. A little bit of show, don't tell. I appreciate it. I think that was the tape that we just watched. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. I remember. Are, am I hundred percenting these? Probably not. We're just playing through them. Um, here we go. So in a way, I didn't think about this till just now, but in a way, this is sort of an urbex game. I wonder if we learn more about our character down the line. I'm assuming we will. I, f I fucking forget. Tab to view items. Okay. <coughs> Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Mm. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Um, okay. Pa yeah, Atlas didn't make a makeshift spear. He just made a spear. He's like playing the forest, but in the front yard. Poppy Playtime. Oh, why am I looking this up? What's his name? Lath. L-E-I-T-H. Okay. Lath Pierre. All right. I remember thinking this puzzle was fucking ass too, but. Um, all right. We got to go do the train thing. He made a spear out of what? It was like a stick, a bunch of duct tape, and a piece of rebar, I think. I mean, I think I saw him trying to sharpen it on the driveway. Pyro, thanks for the... Pyro, Pyro, Pyro. And the Rip Dylan. That's right, Pyro. Okay, we've got our uh, choo -choo, color coded choo choo train. Candy cat. We've got our. The infamous huggy. We've seen this, this asset reused in trash. Boogie bot. Hasn't gone well for this boogie bot here. I will do a little poking around, though. I'm not going to speed run these. I'm going to look for the VHS tapes. I don't know where they all are. Um, I forget if this is which way this is supposed to go. Red, yellow, pink, green. Or backwards, but let's go. Um, I streamed Chapter 1, Armin's. And I've... I've I don't know if I've finished Chapter 2, but I feel like I've played through it a bunch with uh, Atlas and Aurora. And now, and now, just like that, I've been flashbanged. Red, yellow, pink, green. Is that right? Red, yellow, pink, green. Or the other way around. The substance needs to be dry. Okay, thank you, Mecca. Next time I'll shit on the floor for a while before I try it. Red, yellow... Pink, green. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Proceeding. Old Sinclair with the 421. Is that an aversion to reggae? I love it. And Mormon bed bedwetter. Let's see what we got. The infamous grab pack. Oh, 
I don't think he still has the spear, Chimpa. Who knows, though, what he's got stashed. Okay, that'll kill people. That's right, we can... Rewire stuff. It is cool, Sarge. <laughs> Ivan, yeah. I think um, game. if the game is dark, it's actually, I think I have, you know what, let me just make sure. It should be lighter for you. Yeah, it is. Okay. So your visibility will be even, even better. Rest in peace, Dylan. I shine a black light on it and it all glowed, Gallows? What the fuck? Fresh? Or are you just crapping dry? Is there like a puff of dust as you're finishing? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of phosphorus. All right. We've got this. We need the uh, other half of our grab pack. How ominous. Taught the uh, the basics here. <clears throat> String this over. What up, Kenny? Howie. Oh. Now we're cooking. Is that a, that's an early kissy. No, we haven't been told that. I should. That's that should be. Be kind. Show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare Leith Pierre. Leith Pierre. Spelled differently on the wiki. But whatever, we haven't been given that information yet, so I shouldn't know it. What up, Pender? <laughs> Dirk, yes. Huggy's gone. Huggy Wuggy, 1984. Playtime Co's designed hundreds of distinct toys, none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co's four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. <laughs> With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. 
Huggy Wuggy's gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. How true! Uh, Bread and Bunny. Wait, what was your question? Oh, yeah, we're just starting Chapter 1. Jim Pickens with the bits! Okay, isn't this a cre little creepy creep? Isn't there a hand down there? I remember. Yep. There goes Huggy. Bedwetter, hooking up Baranda, Baranda, Daro, Jim Pickens, Priest, Ocho Muerte, Mariel. And Jarvis. Is this a game of true story? really happened in Detroit. Okay, on we go. Uh, let's see, okay, so we got a VCR. That means there's a tape nearby. See if we can find it. Me? Any me? Any me? Good audio. I forgot. The audio is good. Also, it smells like weed in here. I bet my neighbors are fucking. Getting shredded right now. Oh, okay. All right. All right. In the market for a yellow tape here. Let's see what we got. Let Peanut. Thanks for the gift. Yeah. Alright, I might have just... If I miss the tape, it's fine. Okay. Magic Mixie into a gravity bong. Bits of toy. Oh. Noise. Let's go see what we got. I wish you could zoom in. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's it's for the orphans. Chapter one left. I just wish there were less boxes. <clears throat> Anything less would be more habitable. Is is that even a word? Habitable. Alright, so we're bringing the orphans into it here. Good. <laughs> Mushrooms, yeah. Um. Oh, 
Oh, I'm missing one still. There it is. Yeah, play the... This one, this is not blind. I've streamed this chapter. And uh, I've played chapter two. A, a good chunk of it with uh, Alice and Aurora. But we're going from the beginning, because I want to see if they've stepped shit up for chapter three. Okay. We've completed our grab pack. These games long or quick? They, uh, yes ish. A little bit of both. Depends on how bad you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yes. Okay, we got to do this. In the shop. And they seem to be, uh, who was just asking? They seem to be getting longer. This is another one of the reasons why. I, wa I wanted to play them in order. And they're also, it's also released essentially as paid DLC, which I think is kind of interesting. So it's rather than uh, standalone elements, you're, it is now like it, it opens with a launcher, a Poppy Playtime launcher, and you choose which of the three chapters you want to do. Needs power. Okay, this I vaguely remember. Yeah, chapter three, they seem to have, uh, by all accounts, stepped shit up. All right, we got to make a toy. Fostering happiness. Oh, my God. Rest in peace, Dylan. Sark pals. like a gnome with a giant hand jerking off a black wiener. Oh my god. Or is it? Hard to tell. Alright, we gotta get the power on. Ooh, it's been a while. It's gonna take me a minute here. No spoilers. Here. Oh, there's a tape up here. I remember. A cheeky little tape somewhere. I knew it. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co-Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was 
so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. <laughs> Hey, you asked a question. I thought that was a pretty, uh... That was a pretty cool answer, actually. Uh... By the way, Gallows, I found a game. I don't know if we're gonna get to it today. But... It's just... Let's just say it's a writing-themed experience. And I... And I will be playing it. Um, okay, we need to get this juice turned on. Nope. There goes my knees. I know that's possible. I did that once. I can move the bridge, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I may... I'll, I'll showcase it between chapters, maybe. All right, let's not get hung up. I, c I could spend... So much time optimizing this. Need a little of this. A little of this. Nope. Need a little of this. Corner. Oh shit! <laughs> you fuck. Yeah, I remember you can make. I made that jump before, but it, it didn't. It, it didn't end up being necessary. You've, by the way. Lay Peanut with the gift. Thank you. I missed you. Sniper with the resub. And you, of course, to Whoa. Whoa. All right. I need as short a path. And then over to there. So can we do this? Now that I'm here. Give it a little of this. A little of this. Well, we got it. The grab pack also, I'm gonna just do, I'm doing running commentary as I do this. The grab pack I think is what makes, the, like, what makes this game. But the jank, the jank is strong. Also, one of the things I'm curious to see if they, if they tune. Power is on, okay. Spook or chill? This is probably, I would say, spooky. But, uh... It's... It's... Yeah, whatever. It's made for, like... It's not... I'm not gonna say made for kids. But, um... 
Yeah, it's like a jump scary, puzzly horror game. So. Alright, there go my toy components. Let's see how it shapes up. I mean, they're making good with it. I got Atlas a Poppy Playtime themed gift box for Christmas that came in the shape of a pack of colored v plastic colored VHS tapes at Target. And I've seen more knockoff Poppy Playtime dolls than official ones. So, they're doing all right. Made a nice little toy. We're getting spoon fed the lore. All right, here we go. Brace. It's huggy time. This is a good reveal, too. Uh, I forget what the fuck I'm supposed to do here, but let's go. That is cool. Probably nope. We're not good. No, nope. this is the but this sequence is so cool. Okay. Hang a right. All right. This time we won't lag. Not that I don't, I think it doesn't matter. I, but I also, I want to like... Oh shit. I want to appreciate this. He looks so cool when he's in the duct. <laughs> All right, hang a left. Also, wakey, wakey. It's too, there's nobody's sleeping right now. <laughs> Wentolini, right? Follow, follow Jesus, follow Poppy's graffiti. Give it the fuck. 
Pull the box. Pull the box. Yeah, thought I had it. Okay. Yeah, this sequence is good. I, I would say that the success of this franchise is built on the back of this chase sequence. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tickle, thank you! The multiplayer game. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, Sam and Tickle, thanks for the uh, thanks for the love. Rest in peace forever, Huggy Wuggy. Died in some chasm deep in the heart of Playtime Inc. Yeah, they made a free um, multiplayer game. A 4v1 asymmetrical uh, spooky game. And I'm, uh, I'm iffy on it. Atlas really likes it though. DBD like, uh, I guess. What up, Darth? No, no, no. We're just getting... I guess... Here's the thing. I think this is the end of Chapter 1. So, Chapter 1 was was basically a teaser. So, let's see what we got here. Final line in relation. Experiment. Jack Septiguy. Jack six. rears his head here somewhere. Prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Okay, so that's the first appearance of the prototype. I totally forgot about that. This shit might have been retconned. I have no idea. But... Here we go. Here's the flower we were told to seek in the beginning. Run, danger, turn around, stop, go back, run. Okay. Are subtitles an option? Good question. I don't think so. <laughs> Let me turn those on here. I'll turn them on at the beginning of the next chapter. <clears throat> also, turn that shit. Should be on by default. I think. 
<clears throat> even as even if I'm not streaming. Um, okay, here we go. So a lot of disparate plot elements here we've we've been introduced to. Prototype. I mean, Huggy's Berserk. The Orphans. Lathe. Lathe Pierre. What up, Risu? There we go. Chapter one. Flying. Darth. By the way, th this back room's bop, I fucking love. Tickle, 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 tickle. Thanks for the jump scare. Sam with the two years and Darth hooking up Gundazween. Part one down. Just got to the stream. Can anyone sum up the first chapter? Yes. Uh, hold on. Our character gets a mysterious manila envelope with a VHS tape and a cryptic note saying everyone thinks that the uh, the like the employees or the occupants of Poppy Playtime or Playtime Inc. Uh, vanished ten years ago, but they're still there. Seek the flower. Cryptic message. We go in, and over the course of uh, making our way through the beginning of the factory, we learn that some of the toys are uh, animate and. Uh, they were working on some real ominous new toys that we haven't seen yet. They were doing something with orphans. Sounded like very charitable. I'm sure it's all good. That's about it. Rest in peace, Apollo Creed. That's right, Mojo. Uh, on to chapter two. Chapter one was just a little... Just a little snippet. Chapter two, they put a little bit more uh, on it. And uh, I have mixed feelings on it. So here's, the, here's what the launcher looks like. When you launch Poppy Playtime through Steam, you get this. Resident Evil? Yeah, probably. All right, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Home of Mommy Long Legs. Now we saw the uh, the death of Huggy Wuggy, if you see up here, shilling the, the plushies. Chapter 2, Fly in a Web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. So our little Urbex adventure has not gone how we wanted. Running through the the ducts with a 20-foot man-eating plushie chasing us. So now we want out. But we did find the flower and we freed Poppy. So let's see what let's see what that means. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stop. We'll, we'll rewatch this. Let me turn on subtitles. Now that I know this is a thing. And... Um, 
Also, usually I turn off motion blur, but... And I hope Atlas is not listening to this. <laughs> I think it actually makes this game... It, it makes this game look better. Uh, I don't see subtitles in there. So we're just going in. No subtitle on this one. <laughs> there you go. Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist I love mommy this. long legs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new mommy long legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Charles with the resub, thank you. Rip Dylan. PB and J with the the double barrel gifts. Okay, picking up right where we left off. Right outside of Poppy's uh case. That's right. We're going. I'm going with the lore presented as much as possible. The lore as presented. I'm not trying to get into the ex the external shit yet. All right. I'm less familiar with Chapter Two. I've played through chunks of it, but we're gonna we're gonna give it the old. Thorough exploration. All right, this shit changed behind us. Or maybe not. Maybe this is just blocked down and we couldn't get through this door. We'll go with that. Still don't understand what's the objective here. Okay, we came in as a, like an urban explorer after getting a cryptic note saying like, we're still in the factory, even though it's been abandoned for 10 years. So we came in to check it out. And we found that some of the toys are uh, moving. And right now our objective, at least according to the title screen, is we're just trying to get a, get the F out. We are wait, flying our nope flag and trying to run. If they're stuck in there, how did they send the note? Elliot. Shit, NATO incoming. What up? What were you getting up to? Oh. <laughs> 
tốt nữa Okay. This looks important. We'll take it. Amnesia Dark Descent on my list. Actually coming up real soon. Well. Alphabetically real soon, anyway. Fleeting. Got left behind on the, the tornado raid. Alright, so then this should let us in here. This was locked, right? Yeah. What up, Willow? Oh, this is... I, I'm remembering bits and pieces of this. Yeah, this shit was... Ho this... This stuff... This is where I started to think... Um... Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I was... Uh, there's bits of this where I'm like... the, the Maybe the target demographic... Might be left behind. It's like putting puzzle sequences into boomer shooters. Or vice versa. A shooting sequence into like a point and click. Daisy. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he do it? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? What's his secret? It all began in the fateful year of 19... 19? Jesus, dude is ancient. Walk, thanks for the bits. <laughs> Bing killing with the resub coming in off the NATO raid. And Mango. Rest in peace, Dylan. Indeed. Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to wiki shit. The fuck is Lathe Pierre? I'm only looking it up because they said this already. Head of innovation. Okay. All right. So Lathe is an employee of Ludwig. Got it. <clears throat> I remember the year 19. Just trying to get the power back on. Here. That is a pretty, uh, impressive toy. to 
thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. Train station needs as a coat. As soon as you get on up here. <laughs> She looks like Come it's, on. it's Wendy's. There's Come no on. subtitles. Unless maybe maybe it's in game. What about that? No. Controls? What a weird <laughs> thing to not have anymore. There's no subtitles. Uh, don't you want to come with me? Yeah. You're making me sad. Why do I wrap the... So the mechanic of, th of this type of puzzle is that the arms... Uh, we're going to find more hands later, but the basic idea is they can conduct electricity. And so you need to connect... The posts here to power shit up is the whatever it's a little AGBS some non sequitur uh, puzzles that's the way it goes uh, okay I'm getting distracted where are we doing we need to get up there. Okay. Give me in. Hey, I'm up here. I see you. <laughs> I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. Oh, what up, Zeno? I need some of this shit. I'm gonna mess this office up. Give me that. No spoilers. Breaking Nose Daily, thanks for the bits. On a Phasmo kick, looking to do VR. What's the best to get? Um, like headset? This is not a secret. Uh, that's a tough call. There's a lot of variables. Do you have a lot of cash? The index is incredibly solid. Uh, if you don't have a lot of cash, um, the, the, it's not the Oculus anymore. What is it? The meta, the meta quest is perfectly serviceable and can connect to your, um, PC. If you've got the if you've got the money to spend, um, I like the quest personally. Oh. All right, moving right along. Drummer, thanks for the reset. MetaQuest is good. Facebook is AIDS. True. Um, and they don't like uh, they don't like you making dummy accounts. But but I did. You can get away with it. Make this? 
Probably not, huh? I move this. What if? Um, it's super good breaking noses. Yeah, so that th there's a few other options, but here here's the here's the pluses and the minuses. The index is expensive. It's like a grand, um, and also you need the space to set up all uh, the sensors. And to be honest, two sensors is fine, um, but more is better. Uh, you know, if you get one behind you, that's kind of nice. But whatever, you can get away with, with two. But I figure if you're getting an index, you probably have the cash to kind of go whole hog. Um, but it's also a traditional wired headset. So you're connected to like Johnny Mnemonic, right? And then the, the Meta Quest is powered by like the Snapdragon mobile it's essentially a, a handheld uh, console, but you can plug it into your PC with a USB-C, and then uh, it essentially leans on your PC for some horsepower, but you're, then you're wired again anyway. But taking away one of the most beautiful things about it is that you can just go downstairs and sit on your couch or some shit, put, get a case, take it to your family's house for Thanksgiving or whatever. It's kind of dope like that, but... You can get a, you can get away with that one for what four hundred bucks? What's a Meta Quest three? It used to be four hundred. Oh, it's five hundred now. Spicy. You can connect to your PC via Wi-Fi now. Sir Pun, I did not know that. That's new tech. If you can get PC VR via Wi-Fi out of the MetaQuest 3, if I would research that, but Sir Pond is saying so, that's pretty uh that's pretty legit. What up, Agave? Mimi with the resub drummer. Pushing three years. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. <laughs> I mean, if you think about this just purely as mechanics of this game, this little excursion into an abandoned building has gone so sideways. <laughs> it, there's not many adventures that have gone this wrong. Also, never would jump into this hole. And have zero loyalty to Poppy. Other than maybe uh, she can help me get out of here. Eddie, Laith, Elliot, and Stella. By the way, it was spelled with an A earlier. Immersion shack. All right, so now we've got to power these two poles to turn this on and eventually, like I can't just do this. I need the mechanism juiced. So 
this will where's this gate at? I mean dude the grab I, the grab pack is is so random. to do. Hold up. A little of this. A little of this. A little of this. Any collectibles in here? Let's give it a scan, a little scansy doodle. <clears throat> my daughter, five years old, saw this on my phone while she was walking past. She ran away half crying and screamed, why are you watching Poppy? It's visceral with the kids. They, they love it. They hate it. They love to hate it. They hate that they love it. Falcones, thanks for the bits. You might get a Baconator out of helping Poppy. It's true. Dude, just give me a, give me a, a, a small a frosty. Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Now, how is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. Okay. It will be just like old times. Does and she have... If you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. She has, like, webbing over her mouth. to have so Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> uh, we're in chapter two, uh, Scribbles. So, base, so basically chapter two turns into um, a bunch of mini games. <laughs> Callous. This is cool. What up, Blung Gang? Jack, yes. All right, let's, uh, musical memory. Let's check this out here first. We need the train code from Poppy to get out of here. I have played through this. I believe it ends with the, well, whatever. Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Choo choo! Little kissy. Poppy reminds me of Portal 2. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And also with the, like, <clears throat> I've picked up bootleg hard, like, hardware. 
All right, before I kick that off, let's just, we got Wacka Wuggy to look forward to, musical memory. We got a little choo-choo train trophy. To Braun, you are my best friend for you. Oh, Braun. And then, uh, there's lore reasons why there's this whole, this whole compound down here, but we haven't been presented this, not really yet, other than the hints at the, uh, the orphans and shit. Scribbles, thanks for the resub, and Panda? IW Panda? <laughs> da bomb, have a good lurk. Is that Infinity Ward Panda? And also still Infinity Ward Panda? We're on chapter two, by the way. If so. Nice. If not, salutes. All right, here we go. Let's go do this. Gamer. Um, I mean, we are on chapter two, but. Hi kids, welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing musical memory. See you in a bit. IW somehow hit a wall going downhill full sned. All right. Well, then. Grats on, on the bullet dodging. I've been there. Not there exactly, but. It's a dance I know the steps to. All right, here we go. Musical memory. Why are my alerts fucked? What the hell? Who who was it? German lover with the resub? Unchbob? Wet denim hugs. Oh, it just went. I alt tabbed it, fixed it. Gamer, you should be good. Know when your birthday is? June twenty-eighth. <laughs> <laughs> OBS eats too much lead. Yeah, I need to shine a black light on OBS and see if it reflects. What was this dude? Rhetorical question. Uh, we're about to find out. This is this this. Is, oh, here it is. Bunzo Bunny. There we go. Okay. Rognorn. It yeah. It it belted out your actual B day. Little hitch there while it loads in the next chunk. It's all good. Room. All right, let's 
grab this. Let's see if we can shut this up. Oh, that's a Markiplier? Panda, that's a Markiplier nod? I have no idea. I mean, I want to go watch this video, but I want this to, to hush. It's not going to hush, is it? Oh, never mind. Our ears are terrible. Choo Choo Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun with it. Ten seconds. So we have slight electricity portability here. Oh, he panicked when he played it. Uh, that is funny. Have I played nightmare mode? I don't think so. I saw Choo Choo appear in Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 4. That was very exciting. But no, I don't think I've been back to it. I'll have to give it a... Give it a run. Do a little of this. And a little of that. Pump. Pump the, yep, there we go. <laughs> Garden of Ban Ban. Garden of Ban Ban is a, if, if, uh, Pavi Playtime cruised in based on the creator's love of Five Nights at Freddy's. Garden of Ban Ban is what happens when somebody does that to Poppy Playtime. We'll have to play through Garden of Ban Ban as well. I've played through that. Chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then, uh, well, not, not chapters. These are standalones. Game 1, Garden of Ban Ban 1 through 4. Then, Garden of Ban Ban 6 released. Five, <laughs> five, I'm just hearing, is scheduled to come out after seven. There we go. Now that's subverting ex like expectations. Did you just finish part four and you think you're going to get part five? Well, go fuck yourself. Here's what. Um, okay. Okay. Let's go. S There's shit happening and I do not know what it is. Uh, let's take a little look. Oh. Collecting them trophies. This looks like some paint.
Okay. We're crafting our, our, our... Mommy Long Legs took our red hand. So we're crafting the green hand, which is our electrically... Our, our rechargeable hand. Is, is the... The idea here. Chelsea, with the resub, what's up? North of two years. Before I push that. Incoming drunk rant. Oh, here it comes. Freshly tatted, last of faith. It's a drunk rant. Here we go. Just wanted to thank you, old man, for everything. I wouldn't have asked you for the tat if you didn't hold such a high place in my life. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You saved my life when I've gone through the ringer of parental abuse. You mean so much to, to so many people, even if you haven't uploaded to YouTube in two years. Thanks for everything. My pleasure. Hopefully, I mean, this is, this is, fuck, this is fucking dark, but hopefully that's your parents abusing you and not you abusing your kids. <laughs> there's a, there's just a couple meanings there and I'm just saying. Hope shit's better. Why not? The fuck? My light just changed. Interesting, I thought of that. I'm sorry, dude. I think about abusing kids at the drop of a hat. Okay? What? Guilty! I've been using the freezer a lot. Faith. Okay, okay. All right. I mean, I'm good and I'm sorry. Sucks. Give me my fucking green hand. Oh, there we go. We're good. <laughs> Gallus. Yeah. Um. All right, we gotta charge the hand. Let's do a little, uh, and grats on the, the tat. Turn it out. Money. Safety first, playtime code's not liable. We haven't seen this, uh, this critter yet. So we gotta do one of these, and then one of these. Ah. You know what? Now that I think about it, Faith, I'm honored that you got the tat because uh, that's not even your first rodeo. Faith is Faith is tatted up, so I'm honored now to be in the uh, in the the Faith gallery. Everyone's dead. Who or what is paying the bills? Bruce, you're thinking like a grown up, and I would appreciate it if you'd fucking stop. We need Sark edited vids. <laughs> you are in luck! <laughs> oh my god.
what? All right, we're gonna see. Make a wish. Oh shit! All right. What up, car jacks? New vid on Saturday. All right, memory game. What could go wrong? Carjacks, thank you for busting my alerts. Shit. Alt tab, fix it. Welcome to musical memory. I'm cantaloupe. This advanced memory. Thanks for gifting parental abuse. And cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Yeah, yeah, you dude, fucking cognitive efficiency. <laughs> fucking yeah, dude. Giggle! 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 Thanks for the goddamn bit nuke. Dude, let's cog... cognate this shit out here. It's no problem. A sequence of colors will be shown. And you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. <gasps> if Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult <laughs> as it continues with this longer patterns in quicker succession. This game qualifies as That's elder all. abuse. Oh no, did Good we luck. stop? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Am I... Am I the victim of ISP abuse right now? What the goddamn fuck? Okay, we're chilling. I'm paused. The truth is, I just don't want to remember. This is not bussing. I don't think I can remember all the different colors. And so I just, I have the ethernet cord wrapped around my ankle and I just gave it a good yank. All right, let me check on Twitch. Let me see what's going on here. Devin, maybe? Chance didn't notice anything. I mean, I think it looks all right at the moment. It definitely dipped, though. Everybody back? All right. Good heads up with the Rinra emits. Never dipped. I definitely saw it. It go uh go into the naughty zone all right we're going here we go bon bonzo bunny oh isn't it amazing mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years mommy can only imagine how excited bonzo must be it's been such a long time since Looking. he's been able to play, to cheer, hey. to eat. Okay. Oh, that's the dinner bell. Good luck. What up, Thunderdog? Short balls. Giggle fits with the nuke. No. Oh, shit. Hold on. And then ENG, I've got to read this. Purchased it. Inji purchased a new realistic sex doll. She's so realistic, she only wants to be friends with me. It's so f
let me give you 10 minutes of lonely time with your new friend. Bird brain. Fleeting, getting more hype. Em just collecting the hype emotes. All right, here we go. Hot shot. It might, it, we, if the connection's bad, it might be a Twitch thing. It could be a uh, thunderstorm thing. It could also be a switchboard thing. My restream service could be a few things. At the moment, the internet is good, so we're we're continuing. Yellow, let's do it. Yellow, blue, blue. Oh, yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, blue. Yellow, blue, blue. Yellow, blue, blue, green. Yellow, blue, blue, green. Yellow, blue, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, blue, green, red. Round two. Come easy. Blue. Oh. Blue. 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 What up? Arctic. Blue. blue yellow. Gotcha. Round three. Violet. Violet light. Violet light blue. Violet light blue orange. Violet light blue orange violet. BJ. BJ Hart. I'm in. BJ Hart, absolutely. True. BJ Hart, green. Okay, my, de my mnemonic device falls apart there. BJ Hart, green, fine. Take that one. Oh, it broke. That's no fun. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Look hard. was hoping the game could last a little longer. Mm -mm. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Fire, fire, fire. Thanks for the gas. 
where the fuck I am. What up, Light Striker? We got Sin Katori, PB and J, Giggle Fits, Fionix with the nuke, and Thankonomics coming in here. Is this considered Bitcoin? Uh, no, I don't think this is a Bitcoin miner. over here. Oh, trolling. Nice. The poppy guys did try to get into NFTs. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, I vaguely do remember something like that, Gallows. Probably just the wind. You've hooking up orange plastic gun. How far into chapter two? Um, yeah, I'd say half. Raygon, I think, is a good, good call. Want to hear a dino joke? Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. You talk. <laughs> Give me two. Here we go. D Toms with the reminder. Hold fast, D Toms. All right, E and G, this one's for you. What do you call a dino with one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> Wait, who just mentioned Jurassic Park? Isn't that just lifted straight out of Jurassic Park? Trolling. I think. Do you th do you think he saw us? Is a is like straight out of them hiding in the tree. We need subtitles. Yeah. Rejected item. Kick me, Paul. Reason for rejection. Nobody likes him. Laughed out of presentation meeting when revealing Kick Me Paul. This, by the way, is what all the characters in Garden of Ban Ban look like. How many jokes? Let's see. What do you call the dinosaur who's a noisy sleeper? There's more? A Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> I like that one better. What do you call the scariest dinosaur? Okay. Me! Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. <laughs> Oh, do I need to grab it with the, uh, with the thing? Um, all right, let's do some more lore hounding. Rejected item, orange robot toy. Sob check, the tea cozies. I know, I have a bunch of them in my, like, closet. I just got retired. Reason for rejection. After considering both options, management has decided to go with Mommy Longlegs as Playtime Co.'s stretch toy concept. I like him personally, somebody wrote. 
Do we have a, is there an example here? I wonder if they, uh... I wonder what their intent was. There's no way to ever truly know this at this point, because I would... You, you, it would be hard to take... You know, some stuff at face value at this point. But I wonder if after they killed off Huggy... If there had been intent to keep Huggy around. Or if they were sort of like, we'll just wing it and see how it goes. But when Huggy became this sort of iconic figure, if they were like, no, Huggy's got to come back. I wonder what their intent was initially. Incinerate, kick me, Paul. Call retail stores. Launch with Avery. Is Huggy coming back? Okay, maybe that might have been a spoiler. But also, there's just no shot that Huggy stays dead. You know. Ban the flower. I know, this game. Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here. To the freaking island of misfit toy! Why do I talk to myself? So that is. That's like po pooping Paul or something. Surprise hair. Not enough rejected, not enough appeal to design or name. Make it a chicken. Where's the crapping toy? Barrel of Huggies. Includes 22 Huggies. Chain them together, okay? Choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. Retail shipment 018345. Entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotaging the painting machine. The saboteur has since been dealt with. Sir poops a lot. Here it is. I mean, that's a fucking good one. Reason for rejection. Extremely negative reception from various focus groups. Whoever's idea this was should feel ashamed. It should come with a small uh, blacklight. For five plus. <laughs> no one tells jokes like a sir. Oh my god, this one too? Fuck it. What's the best time to go to the bathroom? Poo 30. I like toilets for two reasons. Number one and number two. Why did the toilet seat cry? She got dumped. E and G, come back. Never mind. That's why it was rejected. Not because it's a shitting bear. Julius, thanks for the resub. Trolling, what do you call a group of dinosaur singers? A Tyrannochorus. What's the best time to go to the dentist? Tooth hurdy from Falcones. Ink, okay. And and to complete the trifecta, what do you call a lesbian dinosaur? Lick a lot of puss. <laughs> I 
Actually, I can't. I, it can't. This aggression will not fucking stand. God damn it. All right, let's go fucking do this thing. <laughs> Wicked. All right, let's. We need to charge that shit. Let's go look at see what we got up here. Um, we got electricity there. Capacity. Okay. This shit's done. All right, let's do it. Ah, shit. Can I get back up there. What up, Kagomes? Ten seconds. No prob. This. Little of this. Nope. There we go. Let's try that. Chilling. Super busy. New gig. Jokes or no jokes, Kokomo says. I want to fuck all these toys for some reason. That's not a joke. I mean, this would be a very different story. Oh, shit. Get up there. Different story if uh, Kokomo had had ventured into this factory. Serious, serious eyebrows. that the ball is called Sphericus. <laughs> Subject, thank you. Get in here. Let me get some corn out here. Twinkerbell, sniping, hot shot. Kokomo just bricked up. Wicked smart. We're probably good there. But oh, we got a little hug a pillar, whatever. We're, I think we meet meet that critter here in a bit.
fuck that up. Playtime. All right now we drop that. Okay. Satisfying little chime. Boop, 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 boop. Kagames. Yeah, things are good. It's a, a, a nice gaming weather right now. It's been an, for a little while. Kind of stormy, super foggy. Chuckles with the resub. All right. We're back. told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Bucky. Head downstairs. What up, nerd leader? Icons must be sequenced in this exact order. Do it yet. <laughs> what up, Red Noir? All right, whack a wuggy. Here we go. This is the one that initially Atlas ground to a halt with. He had to call in a dad strike on this one. Jack the Snack. Thanks for the reggae, by the way. The, ju the jump scare, accidental jump scare reggae. don't want the red hand back. Needed dad to whack his wuggy. Yep. Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess this isn't the free either. of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any Easy one there. of these holes. Easy there, Kokomo. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. All right. 
All right, we gotta whack the wuggies. Yay! The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Yeah, Gregory. <laughs> have fun. Theo, Theo, Theo. Okay. All right. We gotta watch for the. Uh, Watch for the wuggy and give him a whack. There's one. Let's let it. Okay, all right, let's not get too complacent here. Gotta keep eyes on a swivel. Bop. Bop. Cause this shit gets uh fucking hectic here. Oh, I called. I love that some of them are hard to see, like the pipe. The pipes are hard to see into. There we go, there we go. Nice, nice. Just giving them a little whack. Just keep whacking those wuggies. I could whack a wuggy all day. Dad strike. Oh, you did it. Hooray! Mommy is so proud of you. Here, Mommy has another hint for you. Oh God. Train code. Now we've got now we've got colors. 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 What up, Ben? It's never too late to change your mind. <laughs> we got Jack the Snack with the reggae, sick chuckles, and then we got Neo, Neo, Neo. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm stuck, step mommy. Okay. Crusty bum crack with the bits. Oh my god. I wasn't going to read anymore, but Udo Moss. What up Fada Cuckoo? <laughs> okay, I have to read it with the explanation. Bum crack. Hold on. First I got to fucking time you out. <laughs> Why the explanation? What do you call a fat person from Louisiana who lies a lot? A jambalaya, parentheses, pronounced like the food jambalaya, but jumbo, close parentheses. All right. If that didn't have the, now that I read it, if that didn't have the explanation, it would have been even more infuriating. But, Kokomo, I bet you would. And Red Noir hooking up Jama Whedon. I'm not reading anymore. I got the game fucking dishing dad jokes in one ear.
What just happened? Oh, there's a hole. Okay. Oh, a little kissy missy. <clears throat> That was like Rennie. That's the Rennie standee. Except you click the button once and it goes straight to the end bit of that. Okay. What do we got? Shadow Man! What up? What up? What up? Thanks for the nuke. Yes! Be blue. Are you blue? No. Oh, it's kissy. I gotta bring the shit back around here. Okay, all right. Shadow Man, thanks again. Hope shit's good. What do I think of this game? I think... I don't know. I don't know. My, my opinions of chapter two... I feel like it it deviated just a bit from the idea that I liked was hinted at in the first one where you're trying to solve the mystery of what happened in this factory. And in chapter two, it became a puzzly mini game I, I wish that this shit was more, um, it's hard to describe, because on the one hand, this is like a game made with a younger audience in mind. But on the other hand, they set it up so well. I feel less like I'm trapped in this factory uh, than I think maybe I wish that I did, at least at the end of chapter one. So... Personally, having played through this a couple times, I rate chapter one as like a great setup. And then this, to me, as a bit of a, uh, it's not bad. It's just not what I feel like chapter one potentially could have set up. So more puzzle than fear. Yeah. But I'm excited to see what they do in chapter three, because from what I hear, the gloves come off. 
<clears throat> and I don't mind a little bit of puzzles either. So, you know, whatever. I'm nitpicking, but. All right, we got to get a little of this. Let's get this up here. Do I have time? Lore like a baby. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to describe because I mean I think that they're executing what they uh, wanted to do well. It's just at the end of one, I was pretty psyched on exploring <coughs> the toy factory. And the Toy Factory being a set of mini games wasn't what I was necessarily expecting. Anyway, just me being me being fucking picky with this kids game. <clears throat> That's probably not it, is it? Copy that, Kokomo. Jim Pickens, thanks for gifting whale thumbs. <coughs> Here we go. What's next? I don't hate this. Hey, this is our boy. Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like oh, to hear. Not at all, sir. So, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day. When my ape arse realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So... I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're <coughs> losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I have a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. Boy, their audio filter didn't do Jack any favors there. Not that he's not a baritone, but <laughs> he really gets pitched up there. Uh, okay, what do we got? Barry? Chill, chill. <laughs> have I done any? Have I? Re did I post a video with Jack? I don't think so. Um, Jack and I know each other though, but I don't think I've done a bit with Jack. At least on my channel. Oh yeah, that's not it.
Oh, this is not right at all. Shark? Oh, did we play the shark game? Was he in that? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower my settings even more now. He what? What a what a memory. He was in depth with us. We, we've uh. The fuck camps in a shark simulator. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, dude! I was all it was all Ireland that day. The fuck camps in a shark simulator. That's funny. Um. No, Jack is old, uh, old, old school <clears throat> machinima, though. I'm, I'm gonna cough. Who the fuck comes in a shark simulator? <clears throat> City Girls. Greasy, I didn't know that. Um, okay, let's go back. Dead end. This is a dead end. Go, go, Barry. Go, 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 Gabbo. <clears throat> Onaga. Right. AMX with the gift. Jim Pickens hooking up whale thumbs, the legend Gabbo with the gift. <clears throat> if someone remade Depth with Lethal Company comms. Yeah, I remember enjoying Depth. I mean, why would, why would I do that? I already, I already know how that would go.
No Glenn Jack played a co-op Gmod scary map as FNAF characters. Crazy collab. Yeah. I gotta try some of Jack's coffee. I'm not a huge uh, coffee drinker, but his coffee's real good. Okay, all right. <clears throat> You played these before? You're so good! Seems like you're ready for the final game, Statues! Follow Mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time! Here we go. Gmod video Nanners and Chill did with Mark. <clears throat> um, I was in a uh, TTT or hide and seek video. We did one with Mark. I don't know if that's the one you're thinking about. What's that sound? Um, <clears throat> yeah, Markiplier's always been super cool over the years. Minx was in that one as well, who I just found out is a stream, like streams. Yeah, with her wife. <coughs> Justra. I'm still in touch with Justra. Occasionally. It's been a while, but yeah. <coughs> He's doing well. Do you want to play with PJ? Caterpillar or Bug? Crowded on all four hundred. remember this. Caterpillar or Pug? It's not grabbable yet? No. Oh, do I need to do... Oh, sorry. A little of this? Yeah, yeah.
Am I good? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that that is intended. I remember not doing that. I did it. There's some, there's some, some other. Okay, here we go. PJ Pug gonna follow us. Welcome to statues. This advanced obstacle I'm gonna get greedy and die, just so you know. Test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. Honestly, we finished Green Hell. <clears throat> All right. Move when it's dark. It was always so sad to see the kids go I'm going to get greedy, though, and try and Tarzan this, and I'm going to get caught. The best way to do this is you just walk through it. I didn't work here, unless I did. Portal is fate is a lot of what they modeled this after. If I move a little when the lights turn on, it screams at me. Oh, there's a treat. I uh, don't know if I just did a 180. I think I did. Or maybe not. Not sure. Do I keep my statue? Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, Brian. Please load faster. Or are we crashing? Why? Why a white? Try it again. I just can't see shit in here. I did keep the statue. I don't have to do this. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Kokomo! Chill, 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 chill. Jesus Christ. Sea Otter, thanks for the resub. Hat trick. Amgram. Hat trick. I'm not even going to entertain it. Red Noir. Oh, fuck. Did I just waste a whole cycle? Am I... Can I jump? Let's try medium. See if there's another trophy. The foam pit slows you way down. Would I give a fighting game a try? Yeah. Depending. Red Noir. A little horror game wreck. Hold on one sec. I'm one cycle slow here. This is not great. Signalis, yeah, yeah, I do want to play that. Now it's, now it's, now we're really portaling, huh? Now it's like really like getting behind the, the walls with. GLaDOS getting pissed off.
<laughs> oh no, Atlas is watching. This this just in from Madam Sark. Quote: Dad is pissing me off. He's looking everywhere but down. I think because I didn't find that hole just now. Atlas, just chill, chill, chill. Just chill, 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 chill. Jesus. Now I'm now I'm getting Madam Sark live commentating Atlas reacting. <laughs> he wants me to text you that he agrees. Motion blur makes the game look better. He's been, he's, you've been watching? I said that at the beginning, Atlas. What do you want? Are you on the tablet? Atlas! 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 Great. Now my son knows that my poop doesn't glow in black light. This sucks. Ocean Blur sucks. Yes, absolutely. But it does make this game look better. But nine times out of ten, I'm with you. Bada boom, thanks for the resub. Gurfan as well with the schnoip. Uh, he can speed run this thing too. Atlas, Atlas is a chapter, a chapter two uh, whiz. Oh my god, he's probably thinking that toxic ass. Uh, the one of the worst things to see. This is painful to watch. Oh my god. I I see that in other people's chats and I and I start to fume. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Hold on. We're on the we're we're in the market for a VHS tape. Frankie with the prime. Keep our company secure. Secrets are a promise. What do we got here? Picked up transfer request. Let's take a look. Exper Experiment 1222, Mommy Long Legs. Subject, Marie Payne. Oh, this is... This is how they take care of people, if I remember right. Abilities. Mommy Long Legs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. Kokomo, chill. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. Problem. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Proposal. Mommy long legs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it is very unlikely she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. 
shortcut. All right. All right. All right. Going ballistic. God damn. Let's get some corn out there. Anything on the back? I don't think I can move the mouse that far. Let me turn up the sensitivity. No, nothing on the back. Thanks, Aura. Kokomo, chill, 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 chill. I'm cool. When I say chill, 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 I'm, I don't know what meme it is, but I'm quoting Atlas. He loves to say chill, chill, chill. Rotate top. 90 degrees. Rotate bottom 90 degrees. All right, let's go see. Uh, let's go check it out down here. I want to find this VHS tape, too. What happens? Oh, hey, pucker fucker. Thanks for the bits. Hot shot. Thanks for gifting. Oh, hey, what up, pucker fucker? I love it. With the H's, the H. Like, it's not a bad word. It's just like Swahili or some shit. It's German. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, what's up, balls and dick sweat? Hey. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's try this. See where this takes us. I forget what the combo for this is, so I'm gonna have to mess around with it. Atlas, just chill, 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 chill. I'll figure, just figure it out. Uh, Bay two, let's go watch this. Oh, Switchblade, you didn't catch the name. Um. It was. <laughs> oh, ENG beat me to it. Thanks, ENG, for gifting balls and dick sweat. Balls and, balls and dick sweat. It's not what you think, though. It's just an unfortunate collision of syllables, okay? It's someone from the Balsand region, and they are hard workers. So coming from their brow after a long days of work is some balsandic sweat. And I appreciate your efforts. Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profit. Well, Eli Roth? How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I forgot right, about this. Realize this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, of... Blue. blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. Okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. This is true. Eli is at the convention I'm at right now, Armin's. 
Is it too is it too doxy to know what convention you're at right now? <laughs> Pervert, yeah. <clears throat> Bay two, all right. Michael Bay. Meow 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 meow. But to be or not to be. That is the question. Megacon in Orlando. Okay. You and I were meant to be. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You need to get out of here. <laughs> Go freeze a spoon, Kokomo. Okay. Now Atlas is just punching the wall. Okay, okay. Business? good. Probably good. <laughs> I could easily make that. Which one should I do? How about this one? Oh, I had that.
Do I have... Which one did I miss? I have to go do that shit again. <laughs> What up, Falcones? <laughs> That's right. This little dipshit in there. Oh, did I not? We got to get the Eli Roth. I don't know if it's, I mean, Jimmy Roth. Okay. Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you expect. Little things don't to say to them. Like, take names. You get the E sound, slap it on the end of a name. Boom, you're making bad. Huggy, mommy. Did Ellie do this way back with Poppy? I guess I kind of... Blue is what up, Fowler? What's your favorite color? Blue? Happy Friday. see here. Okay. More lore. I love it. Oh my god, shut up. We're on chapter two, uh, Wiz. Probably, I'd say, 75% of the way through. The spider out. Okay, the sun. No. Okay. All right, looking down.
Okay. This is the, the factory where dad jokes are made. So is this going to charge me? No. I need a little, I need a little bit of juice. Let me just peek back here. Have a good night, Fox Eye. options. Carl Weathers, Carl Weathers did pass away, indeed. He's flexing on angels right now. One of you, hold on, let's see. Nope. How about this one? Oh. This is fine. Please, Poppy. Please, I need the strength. Grant me the strength of Carl Weathers. Okay, okay, we'll do this and then and then this and then my toes are over the edge. Ah! Fuck it. Evan. That's all I got out of that. 
strength of Car prime Carl Weathers. Kokomo, thanks for the bits. Falcones. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, Atlas is fuming right now. Okay. That do me. Oh, then I go through. Okay, okay, all right. All right, I spaced it. This is hard to watch. <laughs> well, this is hard to watch. What up, cantaloupe? Gifting very specifically to Indiana Jones' whip. Not for sure that was it. Shit. All right, back we go through. <laughs> for real, Chewy. What up, Mr. Nobody? this together what am, what are we doing this to this no green hand yep douche douche lie uh, we're playing Poppy Playtime. All night long. Shadow Man. All right, this. That'll charge my green hand. That gets me in there. I need this door open. Look, baby steps. <laughs> All 
No. What? I gotta leave that one on. Okay. Someday, pervert. Someday. <laughs> Atlas right now. Just weeping. I've lost track of even what I'm supposed to do. Hold on. <laughs> it is. It is crazy. <laughs> and this fucking music sounds so thirsty. you the flashbang. <laughs> what? Wait, can you hear that? Chat, can you hear that? Just have, have it's just having fun. All right, Atlas. Atlas, do you want to do it? It. Do you want to do it? Cut, cut. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right, and we're hopping back into it. Really pretty uh, straightforward when you think about it. <laughs> uh. 
Oh man, baby game for babies and stuff. I just got backseated so hard. All right, I'm gonna see if this tape is here. Fleeting, thanks for the bits. Time out? Um, no, I'm not gonna time him out. Grounded though? Oh. <laughs> wow. Hold on, I just wanna see if this tape. I don't wanna move on, Larry! Oh, and the dab too, just. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> fuck is going on? Pepper, hold on, Pepper. We need a dab emote now. <laughs> uh, zombie, Whiskey Mike. Darth, <laughs> Weevilin, Kokomo, Gregory, Shadowman, Obsidian, Nini, Bearded Irish, Cantaloupe earlier, Mr. Nobody. Oh, I know, I know the secret now. He's on the tablet. Pa pass the channel on. Yeah. I wasn't even. I was blinded by humiliation. I don't even see what. What cha did this open? I don't even. I didn't even see what changed. Atlas. red tape was I didn't want to advance this this till I found it whatever we're gone moving right along we're trucking unless I go back there I don't actually know I don't remember The old boomer needs help. Atlas is at your service. Shout it under my door. Oh my God. I'm in hell. I'd, I'd rather be stuck in this factory. Okay, thank, thank you. You're welcome. He's a, he's a, he's a 
chapter two specialist. He's a beast. No, no. I, I want my trophy. Come on! Atlas would have gotten it. You're right. He would have snagged that. Just midair. If you. Haunting me. Uh, uh, pardon me? <laughs> the ancient man wants his trophy. <laughs> what is this? What is this smack talk? This, this is what I get for playing a game he's he's good at. My god. Pokemon crazy is insane. You're s okay. Thank you. I don't know what that means. I think that's some type of clue. All right. Step one. We've got red and blue. Oh, shit. <clears throat> box one. Oh, box one is red. Two is blue, red, blue, green, <clears throat> um, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow. Okay, all right. I think he's just piled up pillows and is hanging out. L locking my door has done no good. I need now I need a second door. I need like an airlock. it oh was I supposed to come up here I think I was supposed to come up there okay all right no time off Kokomo thanks for the bits <laughs> nice Kokomo Morgan Howie Jack Darth hooking up Mr. Sark after dark the next gym spicy the next gym is spicy I think that I uh broke it Atlas, 
played this the first time he did not play this he really wanted to see it so he watched it while I played it and then he would like hide but Aurora still doesn't uh, she'll watch from a distance but she'll run when it gets spooky did I ever go easy on me no get wrecked kid Now, now it's now it's time for mercy. <laughs> Says the person who took two hours to beat a children's game. No comment. We got we got a little juice here. Okay. Now we're cooking. That's my specialty. You're sure up late. <laughs> P.S. You're finding every way to do this incorrectly. <laughs> Son of a bitch.
How did I do, son? Horribly. That was more of just that was more of just a check to see if you were still there. I was through here. Children's game. No, that's part of the schizophrenic nature of this. Yes, and also no. God, that trophy is going to bother me. A9. Bay 12, please. What up, Kokomo? Shredded right in front of you. Fleeting. Sad old man tries to impress. Atlas, Fleeting Candle just proposed I change the name of the stream to Sad Old Man Tries to Impress Pro Gamer Son. That would be much more accurate. Hey, thanks, Fleeting. Hey, thanks, son. Fate, thanks for the. <laughs> Fate, go fuck yourself. Hey, Cantaloupe, gifting a sub to someone named Atlas Pood. Okay, we've got our code. Did you kill her? 
good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. <laughs> Kate Treasy. Okay, see, Poppy seems... Poppy seems all, uh... Have a good night, dude. Picked up formal request form. Atlas bids you all farewell. Um, formal request form. Let's see what this is. Dr. Matthew Wason. Window, nature of request, windows in the game station. I don't know if you've ever spent weeks on end in a windowless fun van, artificially lit room, I mean, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy, too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that, and bam, there's some actual life down here. I saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows. Big lights behind glass. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. What up, Shadow Man with a little salute? Killer Weeb Slayer. Uh, is this our other new one? Proctoring in the game station. Instructions. Start by reporting to the control station. Keep a minimum distance of 20 yards away from Mommy Longleg. What is proctoring? To serve as a proctor. Proctor is a person who takes charge of or acts for another. Okay. Proctoring. Watch people taking an exam in order to check that they do not cheat. Okay. All right. Um, train roll over. Always keep a minimum distance 20 yards from mommy long legs. Train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. Order of the games should be musical memory, whack a wuggy, then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy Longlegs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one children, one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing a game will wait in the game station. There's playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it is relevant to each game. Musical memory, composure memory, pattern recognition, whack a wuggy. Statues, once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Miss Stella Graber to sort through. Okay. All right. Can we get out of here? What up, Tater Tot? Um, uh, I'm just going to look over here real quick. Child with the highest score gets to be eaten. Yeah, it sounds, uh, totally messed up. This is where we came in. Zero eight five zero two. In relation. What up, Armin? Experiment one zero zero six. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. 
one surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, I another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Treetop, coming in. Hope you had a good stream. And Aoshi, Ashi. I think that's about all I can get back here. Yeah, welcome in, Raiders. We might be having hail. Madam Sark just came in. Pulling the cars in. Circle the wagons. You know what? It's it sort of came full circle. Atlas needed uh, Dad's help to get through Wacka Wuggy, and I didn't need his help, but uh, you know. It was, a fun, it was a fun little father-son bonding moment. <laughs> oh, shit. That goddamn fucking electricity horse shit. Can I get over there? No. All right, I think we're out of here. On to chapter three. Well, hold on. I let, let me. Uh, somebody was asking about Garden of Ban Ban. I have uh, played through. Okay, so it's one is a red. I think is how I'm doing this. Is a red. Uh, is that the bear? Okay, that seems right. Two, yellow. Kissy. going on in Miami? Fuck. We might need to call Atlas back. Oh, I don't, I fucking, I don't slap it with my hands. Okay, yellow. Three blue, uh, mommy. Okay, oh, 
Okay. Alright, so we need this. One red bear, two yellow kissy, okay. Three is blue mommy, okay. And what's the last one? Four red. I think. One bear, two kissy Oh, that wasn't it. I'm probably way overthinking this. Let's see here. Buttons on train console in this exact order. Four, two, one, three. Okay. All right. Make sure to pull the train whistle handle before departure. Icons must be colored in this exact order. I was fucking way overthinking that. He's at my door. He's at my door. Is it is it still locked? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> He's trying to get in. Okay. Four, two, one, three. There we go. I'm pulling the train whistle. Ha, I didn't need you. I can do this all by myself. <laughs> I made that way harder than it was supposed to be. Let's go. out of the water. I see a shadow under the door. What up, macaroni? Sure lose with the resub. All right, I so... I so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm perfect! I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. Set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know this that chapter whatever two. I need you to do, you are capable. We will. What is.
that bike. Alarm clock sound. Okay, I will. Hold up, be right back.
Uh, I have to be RB. We've got to, uh, I've got to possibly cover up a car because it's getting real stormy and we might have some hail. So. Here, I'll play some music. Hold on. And then we'll do chapter three. Or the power will go out. Let me play some tunes. And uh, and then I'll be back. No, we got one car pulled in, but the other car uh, we might cover up a bit. Uh, Corey, thanks for the resub. Big tuna. One of my high school students asked me the retarded genie bacon video games question last week. And when I said respawn, he lit up. He knows. Also, we've got emotes for it, Tuna. You give him that, whatever that mountain man gif face is, where you're like. Jack the Snack with the 420. <laughs> Beep, boop, red, blue children's puzzles can't stop this train. That's right. And then I think I got the rest here. Yeah, sorry for the interruption, but uh, we'll be back. The, f the fast food car or the baby birthing car? I mean, they're interchangeable. Has Atlas seen some, some response stuff, Jonah? Bait! 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 But not all. I, I, he thinks APL's funny. He, he thinks APL's like the funniest dude ever. Okay. All right. Here's some music. I'll be right back. Pass it on. Uh, we're just storm doing a little bit of uh, last minute storm proofing. I love getting tornado warnings in Austin. All right. BRB. Fogel, what's up? Pulled the trigger on a Quest 3 after a rewatch of your Alien stream. VR rules so hard. That's we We were talking about that shit earlier, Fogel. I love it. Rebellious. And God damn. Darth! 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 It's Darth time. How do you feel about 2D games? I like 2D games. Haven't seen too many. Yeah. I think some of them are... I don't know. I, yeah, I'm down. I don't know why you haven't seen too many. I, I, th I think uh, a lot of the games I pick for... Also for, like, readability on a small screen... Which is why there's not a lot of top-down games. Anyway, 2D's nuts in your mouth. Fuck!
shit we're back all right cover didn't work out so i had to i had to do a little madam sark and i had to shuffle the garage a bit to fit uh fit them both i had to climb out the sunroof <laughs> there's no room <laughs> for that shit <clears throat> The title of the last song? I have no idea. This is on White Bat's Punisher mix, though, at the, say, 25 minute mark. Atl and Atlas is so psyched, I'm playing Poppy Playtime. He's like, Did you start yet? Did you start chapter three yet? And there's a cat in here. Okay. Watch on the tablet and find out. Psycho, Rip Chubbs. Yep, that's a good one. Okay, well, if the stream suddenly stops, then the power is out and my neighbors will be joining Carl Weathers in heaven because I'm going to consume them. Ezri Shadow Man earlier with the gift from Ezri Jass. And Hot Shot. Look it up, Rufton. All right, let's, without further ado, let's continue. Yum, yum, Cassandra. Used to have a little sports car. It was fun, but so small I could open the sunroof. Oh, like Harry and the Hendersons. Is he able to hear me on the tablet? No, no, no. He's in bed now. He got a very special treat getting to stay up late and watch the stream. Hold on, I'm, I'm, Steam, Steam is, uh, busy.
That's why my Scion XB was one of my favorite kids. Kids. Sorry, I read Jeff to take your kid to work day, technically. One of my favorite cars. It was like a kid. It's an incredible tall guy car. Completely and utterly gutless, though. But fun. Uh, playlist, no. I'm just playing a little White Bat. White Bat does, like, synth wave, dark wave, industrial, some chill wave. Mixes on YouTube. Royalty-free stuff. This is all White Bat's music. In particular, this is, let me, I'll just link it. Uh, let me find it first. Presently, I'm playing this one, I believe. Yeah. Punisher. White Bat's on Spotify, too. Nice. Yeah. The songs earlier had to have been curated. I mean, he just pulls... What up, Nick? Explain all the Poppy Playtime lore. Dude, no problem. This is all uh, his music off of his Punisher playlist. You can find all his singles on his channel, too. Link is in chat. Uh, Nick, it's, it's really quite elementary, of course. <laughs> We're starting chapter three right now. I hope you guys, did you get mad dubs in CS2 today? Ginger, Oakland, Oakland Lily, thanks for the resubs. I watched the FNAF movie, it was so bad, made me want to watch five hours of lore videos. Don't ask, okay, all right, yep, yep. I have not watched FNAF yet. It didn't, it didn't look the worst though. Oh yeah, Atlas came in and owned me, Nick. Some dubs were had, some L's were taken. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of dubs, Steam's done doing its thing. Let's pile in. To the newly released Chapter 3. <laughs> I was, like, trying to figure out this electrical cable puzzle and atlas came in and taunted me through the door and then he i let him in and he did it in like 10 seconds he's played chapter two so many times i can't tell you how many times he's had me check to see if there's new uh chapter three trailers Hey, if you have a lot of seizures, then, uh, and, and you really love them, this is going to be great for you. Just a heads up. All right, what do we got? White bat equals Carl Casey. Yes. Eli Roth was in one of the VHS tapes we watched. Crazy hat. Deep sleep. Hold on. He, span, he speed ran it. Need to get him on Xenoids. Oh, chat doesn't even know about Xenoids yet. Nick spotted me grinding Xenoids. All right, chapter three, deep sleep. In the aftermath of the train crash, you now find yourself stranded in the depths with a new goal in your sights. Oh yeah, he dabbed on me too, Nick. He solved it and then he was like, oh, and ran out. That's the game I played with Psycho. Yeah, the, the faux alien isolation. Don't know who this is yet. We'll see. 
Um, I'm excited though. What's the time? Playtime! Here we go. Subtitles? We have a full-on... The wind's really scary. 